Guys, it's David here again, and this video is about why you still feel bad even though you're doing all this inner work. So, a common complaint is that even after you do all your meditation, um, you do journaling, you know, you can, it can even be other things. It can be like, you, you know, you take care of yourself. You, you're actively trying to improve the way you feel in life, right? Just inside. You're trying to get rid of negativity. You're trying to get rid of the negative emotions, okay? And you're trying to improve how you feel, which is a good thing to do. People still complain that it's not working, okay? I still feel like shit sometimes, okay? Um, and this can be really, really disheartening. This can really sort of make you want to just pack it in and give up and just revert back to whatever you were doing beforehand. But there is a sort of a secret about this. Um, there's a secret about this and really it is it's I can see why it's a secret because it's a tough it's a hard pill to swallow and the truth of it is that it's still a subtle attempt to get rid of or control feelings that you have okay so all the work we do is an attempt to manipulate how we feel okay now i'm not i'm not putting anyone down for doing inner work or self development work or psychotherapy or psychology or whatever it is you want to call it whatever it is you do to improve your state of mind or how you feel okay that's a good thing but underneath it sometimes there can be this assumption or this attempt to make the bad feelings go away and to feel good okay so you can see there it's a subtle thing right it's a subtle thing where we say negative feelings you're not welcome here anymore right um and the issue with that is really what you're saying to that voice inside that feels hurt you're saying shut up go somewhere else right we don't want to hear it here it's kind of like if you think of the inner child right um maybe maybe the inner child feels like it, it was spoken to like that uh maybe years ago that's just an example right but it's how you talk to your your feelings do you welcome them is the thing and this is this is not easy because obviously we're all hardwired to want to feel good and we deserve to feel good and we should feel good right but most of us right most of us have because it's a crazy world we live in it's a crazy place it's a tough place to live um, we all have a certain level of healing that needs to take place right and in order to do that you can get to that place of feeling good and feeling like yourself feeling at ease in yourself and feeling natural in yourself but in order to do that you have to go through a period of healing or of letting go and of course first there's um, the process of just getting in touch with those feelings okay confronting them and not running away from them but that's the thing you have to you have to allow them to be what they are and it requires infinite patience to do that be hugely patient with yourself um, the text the book of course in miracles says um, to have um, immediate results requires infinite patience. Only infinite patience brings immediate results. So as soon as you say to yourself, when you have these negative feelings, you're welcome here. And I don't, I don't care how long this takes, but I'm gonna feel this and I'm gonna be with this. And, and I'm gonna make it a priority in my life to listen to this, to what my feelings are saying to me right now. When you make that a priority, and you say, I'm going to 
sit with this as long as it takes, almost instantaneously, you start to feel better. Okay, it's a funny thing. It requires infinite patience to just allow the feeling to be what it is, right? Um, somebody else um, that I, I, I admire a lot, um, Anthony DeMello, he said that, you know, he sort of, he's just a very spiritual person, he was, and he went through a kind of a spiritual awakening, I suppose you could say, and he said, um, or maybe it wasn't him that said this, but this was definitely something I heard him say, maybe it was a quote, but he said, um, before I was awake, I was depressed. And after I was awake, I was depressed. So this thing about getting in touch with yourself, it doesn't really, if you feel bad, it doesn't mean that you've done something wrong. Sort of waking up to yourself means experiencing the feelings you have right your genuine feelings and that's what it is right just experiencing them as they are and that could be depression that could be anxiety that could be really strong anxiety right that could be a sense of hopelessness that could be all these things we don't want to feel right but you're awake the minute you start to welcome them all right that's what a, that's what i guess awakening is just accepting your feelings as they sit with you. So bear that in mind, right? Don't take this as some sort of a, uh, a method, I suppose, you know, just bear it in mind and maybe hold it as an intention for yourself to feel whatever you want to feel, okay? And there's no obligation on you to feel any way Whatever way you feel is the way you feel. And welcome them and be with them. It's the being with them that is the practice and that is the discipline that will, that will help you get back in touch with who you are. So guys, it's just a couple of quick thoughts there. Um, I hope you enjoyed it. I hope it helped. Um, and uh, I will talk to you soon. Take care.